everybody, it's Leisha and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do this really colorful makeup look for Pride. Because it's Pride Month and yeah, shout out to all my followers and friends and everybody in the LGBT, LGBTQ community. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a look. It's a look. <laughs> and yeah, so not gonna ramble on too much. Let's just hop straight into this video right there. Okay, so first off, I'll pop my eyes off camera. I popped and set them, and I'm taking this um kind of lighter brown color, putting it into my creases, my transition shade. this darker kind of like um a warmer brown color and i'm putting it on top of that because i wanted to, to have a little slight ombre effect a little bit okay so now i'm taking this uh black eyeshadow from the more 35 b palette and I'm taking a BH Cosmetics brush. This is a BH um, 121 brush. And I'm putting that into my crease. I'm trying to avoid my lid. And I'm just going in really, really heavy. I'm just blending this out I went back in with the second color that I used and I'm just going back and forth blending it out with a no name um no it's a name it doesn't have a number it's another BH cosmetic brush I'm just going back and forth, going in and out, um, packing some more with the black and then blending it out with a blending brush and going in with the, um, the second color that I use, the second brown color that I use and just, you know, easing it up to make it a little bit lighter, not too, not too bold, what should I say? And now I'm just gonna cut my crease. I'm just taking a flat to a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just using this to cut my crease. For this, I use foundation, um, the lightest shade of foundation that I had, just because I'm gonna use bright colors. So I want it to come off bright as, as bright as possible. So yeah, I'm just using a foundation for this. You can use anything, and I'm just setting it with a white eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm taking this yellow shade also from the Morphe 35B palette. I pretty much use this palette by itself for the whole entire um, eye look. And now I'm taking this orange shade next. And I'm just doing like a, a, a rainbow ombre kind of look. And then I'm going in with this red eyeshadow. right next to the orange and I'm just doing a gradient effect basically and now I'm tapping into the green see I'm following up with this pretty pretty blue I thought this blue was really really pretty and I'm just going back in with this black so kind of you know um, cut the crease and define it a little bit more and now I'm doing my other eye I've already cut my crease off camera, so now I'm just going in straight in with this yellow in the inner corner. 
and I found that um, applying these colors it works better with your finger than the brush because they really didn't stick to the brush no matter what if you wet it or wood I tried to use um, the NYX glitter primer and that didn't work as well either so yeah I just feel like it applies better with your finger so yeah I'm just gonna fast forward like speed through this part a little bit just because you already seen me doing on the other eye so yeah And now I'm taking a gold eyeliner. This is by Jordana. It's one of the cat eyeliners, but I do not remember which one it is, what it's called. So yeah, I'm just putting it where I cut my crease to define it a little bit more. I thought this was a nice touch to this look. It kind of made it like pop and stand out more than a, it would by itself, like without the liner right there. And now I'm taking the black Jordana cat eyeliner and I'm just using that to line my lid and create a wing. This is the one in black leather. And I'm just repeating the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now I'm going back in with that warm tone brown color and I'm putting it on my bottom lash line. I applied my lashes and to save time, I did my foundation and everything off camera. And so now I'm taking this blue color that I put on the outer part of my eye, the last color I used and the eye look well on my lid. I'm putting it on the bottom and I'm just winging it out, bringing it to where it meets my wing right directly under. To give the boot a little bit more shine because I felt like it kind of got washed out and it's look a little bit so I brought it on the bottom to bring it more attention and now I'm going in with this purple color and I'm putting that right next to the blue and kind of the center of my bottom lash line and I'm just doing like a little ombre effect and I'm bringing it um, from the center kind of towards the yellow from my inner corner kind of just you know uniting the colors together blending them in making a smooth transition nothing too complicated and I'm just going back in with the yellow and then just like I said connecting it kind of um, bringing it back into my inner corner because when I was doing my foundation it kind of got washed out a little bit so yeah okay so now I'm just going to use this Ruby Kisses powder in the color chestnut and I'm just going to dust off this extra translucent powder this is the F1 powder that I use on my face and yes I'm just going to continue to do that and move on to the rest of my routine And now I'm using the Maybelline um, Colossal Big Shot Mascara on my bottom lashes. I pop a little bit to my top lashes, but not too much. And now I'm just spraying my face to remove that powdery look from the powder <laughs> to give more of a blended look. And now I'm taking the colors Go Get It and 143 from the Nicole Guerrero palette. <laughs> I can never say her name right, but and I'm just gonna put that on all the spots that I highlight on and blend that out.
okay, so now I'm taking this really pretty orange liquid uh, lip gloss. <laughs> I was about to say liquid lipstick. But it's a lip gloss by Nicole Miller, and I'm just putting it into my, in the center of my lips. And now I'm taking this liquid lipstick by ColourPop, and this is the shade Avenue. I really thought um, this was a really pretty look for the eye look that was going. I really think that it like went with it very, very well. It photographed beautifully. I just really thought it was just gorgeous. A lip combo. This is kind of out of the box for me. Like the whole eye look out of the box. But the lip look especially. Because usually I would go neutral. But I tried something different. And now I'm just blending that in with my finger. And then the orange lip gloss kind of got washed out. So I'm just going to put a little bit more of that in the center. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. And please like this video. Thank you for watching. Okay, so that's the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also leave a comment for the next video you want me to do. And I got you. And while it got your attention, go ahead, you know, you know, click my face up there and then click these videos over here so you know. It can just be a party and you can just be watching my videos while you subscribe to my channel because it's lit. And yeah, and then don't forget to follow me on social media, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. All three of those. And then, yeah, so bye y'all.